In this video, I would like to tell about the crop yield prediction using deep learning algorithm. In this video, I would like to tell about the overview of our process. Uh, the main objective of our process is to predict the crop yield by using the deep learning algorithm and to enhance the overall performance. Agriculture is the one amongst the substantial area of interest to society since a large portion of food is produced by them. Agriculture is the most important sector that influences the economy of India. Predicting crop yield based on the environmental, soil, water and crop parameters has been a potential research topic. Deep learning based models are broadly used to extract significant crop features for prediction. Uh, the system is developed at the artificial neural network that is the ANN for predicting the crop yield. Finally, the experimental results shows that the accuracy, precision, recall and F1 score. So this is the overview of our process. Now we are going to see the flow of our process. Uh, first we have to take the data set our data set name is crop yield the data set is taken from the data set repository like github uh, uzi repository and so on after that we have to take the input data from the data set then we have to pre-processing the data in this step we have to remove the unwanted data or unwanted unnecessary noise uh, in this step we have to use handling missing values and standard scalar the handling missing values means we have to check the missing values in our uh, in our data set if is there any missing values is occurred we have to replace the missing values by zeros or nan values then we have to use standard scalar the standard scalar means to remove the mean and scales each features or variables to unique variants after that we have to implement the data splitting column uh, in this data splitting uh, uh, in this data splitting we have to split the data into test and train most of the data are stored in train pot and smaller portion of the data are stored in test pot. Uh, the data splitting is uh, split the data in the form of uh, ratio. The test data is used for predicting the model and train data is used for evaluating the model. Uh, after that we have to implement the classification algorithm in this step we have to implement the deep learning algorithm such as artificial neural network uh, with the help of ANN we uh, the experimental result shows that the accuracy precision recall and F1 score so this is the flow of our process now we are going to see about the output part that is demo part test i i will running our process after that i will explain the steps one by one here we are running our uh, python process in spider ide from anaconda navigator okay our program is successfully run just i will explain our program yeah first this is our so this is our this is our data selection so data selection means this is our input data here i will uh, here uh, i have uh, just a display with the uh, sample of uh, input or uh, input data so after that we have to check the uh, number of rows and data type for each attribute name that is column name from our input data after that we have to describe our data set so just it uh, this is the our column name temperature humidity ph value then rainfall so this is our uh, this is our uh, data set description okay then we have to move on the pre-processing step 
uh, in pre processing we have to check the missing values right so here we have to check the missing values for each attribute name that is column name so here mm, temperature community ph rainfall label or the attribute names here the zero each column contains the zero missing values that means there is a no missing values in our input data after that we have to just display our input data then we have to implement the ANN algorithm artificial neural network so in this algorithm we have to uh, running our algorithm the result will be the 96 percentage for AN algorithm this is the classification report uh, the classification report function generate the precision recall f1 score and support values for uh, support values for all of our input data so finally this is the validation graph for ANN performance metrics so this is the output part and uh, here this is a variable explorer variable explorer means uh, which variables are used in our process that variables will be stored in this uh, column this in this part then file variables will which uh, in our uh, your main file and data sets will be present in our in file explorer so this is our data set so this is the our output part thank you